What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're here to discuss the how to cop guide for the Nike Sakai LD waffles dropping in two different colorways this Tuesday, March 10th for retail of $160 and it's about to be a movie. Unfortunately, these aren't going for as much money though as the original ones do or the second or second collection I want to say because they've been dropped in like three different segments. This is the third segment to happen and it's kind of getting overdone in my opinion. It's kind of getting too much over... It's like... When you gonna when you gonna do something new for us like a new silhouette? And I know they were coming out with a new one. And it's looking crazy. It's looking like a crazy ass shoe. But they are coming with a new Sakai eventually. I do expect you to see it this spring slash summer. Like that's when they released it for the spring summer 2020 fall fashion show. I mean not fall fashion show, but just a fashion show in general. So today we got the LDU waffles. No blazers releasing with it. Typically they do release the blazers and the waffles together, but this time they're keeping them separate. We have two different colors, as I said, and we're gonna get into the how to cop guide, resale predictions, best sizes to go for, hold your sell now, and exactly what is going on with the collaboration. Before I start, I want to let you guys know all this info I pretty much get and provide in the group time with TV Plus, which is what I own. Uh, we have the how to cop guys for a lot of stuff. Oily links, sight list, raffle list, uh, monitors. We got other flips, not secret flips. We got a bunch of good stuff out there. So hope you guys enjoy it and catch the restock this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern on the website link in bio as well. As well as there's a free, dude, I got a lot of giveaways going on right now. We got a free month subscription you can enter on Twitter and Instagram. We got free Strange Love SBs you can enter via my Instagram at Thomas Severco. We got a lot on our plate, ladies and gentlemen. And we're doing good. 2020, we got it. We got to get our grind up. We got, I got to give back to everyone out there supporting. Honestly, thank you so much. And if you guys want to join the free group, all you got to do is send a screenshot of you subscribed to this channel right down here and send it to Tommy Boy TV Plus on Instagram. Not Twitter. Instagram only. Please listen to my directions. Please. I appreciate it because I got held dams everywhere else. I just want to keep it one place and organized. But anyways, unfortunately, don't have the green screen, green screen behind me. So I'm going to put you guys up on the screen and we're going to go out through this. By the way, you we do have the computer out here with the sticker packs. If you guys are interested, TimeboyTV.com as well does have a few of these stickers up for sale. As well as the whole site has been updated. More stock has been updated. A lot. Oh, I just put magnets on my computer chill so that's not funny that's not funny yeah that could be bad so anyways i'm gonna put you guys up on the screen as i said in three you guys are up here so you guys can see this is the nike sneaker lineup for the current feed nike sneakers if you guys are completely new to the sneaker game nike sneakers is where nike does release a lot of their limited and highly highly exclusive sneakers like sneaker passes for instant release and i expect these sneakers pass to happen for these nike sakais on monday around between 1 to 4 p.m eastern is typically when they've been happening lately so i expect the same to happen again there will mostly be New York 21 Mercer and 5th Ave as well as probably a few other locations as well but it's typically almost always New York. Uh, so as I said two different colorways. These came out today by the way if you guys haven't seen the Worth the Cop video I hope you guys saw it because we did talk about they were going to be a little bit more limited than most people thought and they actually went up a lot more than I thought. I couldn't have predicted that they go up to like damn 300. I overslept as well which is my bad but we do have the Nike Sakai's right here and the white colorway. A lot a lot a lot of information here to decipher. Basically, all white on white colorway. It's hot retail for $160. Available this Thursday on the 10th of March at 10 a.m. Eastern. It's already March, bro. It's already March of 2020. Let's get this. Let's get this bag, ladies and gentlemen. So the fashion designer behind the fame brand Sakai Chitos of Abe takes her penchant for reconstructing the classics to the next level with the Nike of Sakai LDV waffle. Oh, it's LDV waffle. Damn it. I always mess that up. I always thought it was LD waffle. LDV waffle. That sounds a little bit better as well. Oh, interesting. Combining two icons to fruition in the hybrid. Now, also, people dubbed this sneaker the sneaker of the year for 2020, 2019. And I was like. Y'all bugging. Y'all, I do not agree with that at all. And I put Cactus Plant Flea Market Vapor Maxes as the number one sneaker. A lot of people disagree with me. That's on you. I don't care. I, I value your opinion, but also at the end of the day, I value mine much, much more. Uh, and I just thought it's like, and by the way, but this is so, like, by this point, I want to see something new. Like, already, like, this is a little bit too much. And I hope this is, like, one of the last releases to happen with the LDV waffle because it's kind of just getting repetitive. Just a new colorway. And what they come out with next, I think, will just look too corny, in my opinion. Because they already done a lot of the solid colorways. 
Unless you do like an all over, like an all black pair and possibly like an all over, like blue pair, like all straight solid colors. But you already combine a lot of basic colors that you can use in fashion. So you can see it's a Sakaila DV waffle. It's cut into uh, just, it looks like it's a smushed shit and just stretched out. Like I already talked my shit on the shoe, but will I be copping? I'll definitely try to. Will I get them? I hope so. Is it guaranteed? Most likely not because sneakers always be like, likes to give me that L. But we do have the black pair here, the same exact retail price, all of that. And this is just a little bit better. You guys can see this is the colorway, what it looks like. Personally, I think the white on white color just looks a bit better because the black and white looks like a basic ass Roshi run almost. Like when I used to wear Roshis all the time, it kind of reminds me of that sneaker right here. The all white pair does just look a bit different. But this one right here, the Nike Sakai in the black colorway. I don't know. People are saying this one's going to be a little bit more sought after, but we're going to get to resale in just a bit. But I also want to keep you guys an update that on Sakai's website, they also do release... Uh, as of right now, there's something loaded on the back end. It's still pretty early to call it because it is right now. It is Saturday, March 7th when this video will be uploaded, hopefully. And they still haven't announced anything on Instagram, anything on their website about how it's coming out. But they should expect it to release on their website. Uh, what I recommend doing for the website, you have to create an account. This will mostly be Monday night because they are overseas. And they do run on a different time frame than Eastern Seaboard people. Uh, make sure you create an account. Make sure you create all that shenanigans shit because this site does get bought up pretty heavy uh and it is kind of sometimes tough to get but make sure you stay tuned to their instagram they should announce something officially as it gets a little bit closer like hopefully sunday or monday because typically they do announce it by them but this is their instagram by the way their official instagram if you guys are interested and then the official site you do this sakai.jp and you can translate it up here to understand a little bit more but once again still nothing confirmed from them but also made away nowadays the raffles is the, pretty much the only way to really get stinkers so that's just what you got to do you guys can see here end is one of the biggest uh con consortiums it's locations for nike high tier releases like this so you got and you got sns you got kith you got concepts you got extra butter you got undefeated already closed they do like a half an hour to an hour raffles now which is super quick to deter bots uh, we had concepts as i said not a lot of other places but stock at these places is high from what i heard now nike 21 mercer i do know for a fact that stock on that location is looking pretty pretty decent as well as fifth ave because they had their shipments shown inside of the store and it looked like a whole shit ton of boxes hopefully you guys will see a picture up here and it's crazy to see because everyone thinks like oh they were so limited they, they've been going for so much money but if we go to resale right now it's kind of a different story i mean they're still going for around 400 dollars just around there but at the end of the day i don't think they're going to hold their value as anywhere to near what they are right now so i recommend maybe i mean but listen the thing is as we saw today with the unc threes when stuff sells out on sneakers that's when prices go up uh, before then, prices are pretty much stagnant. Everyone's like, ooh, should I buy resale? Should I pay resale? Maybe I'll take the W on the app. Maybe I'll take the W here. And if people don't take W's on there, they are just going to end up going to CockX. <sighs> it is what it is. That's how the market is. Or eBay. eBay, I recommend using as well. Especially if you have access to eBay View and Watcher Bot, which we do in the premium group because that does help people generate views on their listings. And once they generate more views on the listings, the, the listing will show up at the top of the feed when you do look up. So you look up Nike Sakai, that item will show up at the top with the most views and interactions. So you guys can see right here, best sizes as of right now are smaller the size, the better, as it typically do, does go with most of these high tier releases, as well as with basic, basic Jordan 1s. There are some like outliers to this, which is, for example, the UNC 3s. And by the way, look at all. All the other colorways i think this is the worst colorway ever ever done by them unfortunately it is what it is but if you guys look at all these like they're still holding their value pretty pretty well not gonna lie they did go up you see they're worth all 2500 damn dollars i feel bad for that person and then straight down straight down and other than that, they're a pretty stagnant shoe. Like, even if you hold or sell now, uh, they will go up over time as I feel. Because once they start pushing out new sneakers and new collaborations and new all that other, like, new silhouettes, this will get more looked at as the OG part of the collection. And people will gravitate towards that, especially once it gets farther throughout time. Everyone's going to be like, and say something huge does happen with Nike Sakai. So they become, I don't want, they're not, nothing close to the Nike Virgil. It's not going to come anything close to that, in my opinion. But they could become a lot bigger than they are right now. Sakai is still relatively, I don't want to say new, but new to a lot of people's eyes as of right now. Like, I'm not going to try to defend nobody, but as of right now, Sakai is pretty new to a lot of people out here. Uh, I'm not saying it's a new brand at all, but I'm saying it is new to a lot of people out there. I know people are going to get at me. So, although it was creating this year, hey, yo, it is what it is. But personally, I haven't heard of Sakai. 
I heard Sakai a little bit before they started with Nike, but before that, I just didn't really pay attention to it. Like, I'm not really too much of the high designer. At that point, I wasn't. But now, we're gravitating towards that. Eventually, we're getting there. Uh, but the other club we do have, as I said, is the white one. And as of right now, resale is looking a bit more on smaller sizes and on bigger sizes as well. Well, once again, it depends individually on each size. But they are slowly going to go back up after people take L's. And once all my orders come in, they're just going to go straight, straight down. I want to compare this to actually, say we do look, this is probably my favorite colorway that would come out, the Summit Gray. And this one is doing, it's kind of bugging right now, but you guys can see, look, they came out on what exact date? Let's see this, the 12th of September. Let's find that 12th of December right here. Boom, boom, 560, right? 560, 560, and then slowly, yes, all the orders came and they went down to 480, 460, 450, and they slowly just stayed down. Now they're slowly going back up, and the only reason why they're going back up is because of the fact that a new iteration is coming out. Typically, when a new collection comes out, like say off whites, right? So you take the OG off white Prestos. When the new off, then when, then when the black and white pairs of the off white Prestos came out, the value of the OGs went up because everyone looked at those like, yo, those are the first ones of the collection. New colorway, that was a whole different colorway, and then moving on to a different whole new wave. And that's why I recommend if you do have the OGs of any collection, to always hold those. Like you have the Chicago's, you got the OG, the 10 Supreme. I mean, not Supreme. The Nike, the 10 off white with Virgil Abloh from the collection. I recommend holding those. If you have anything from the originals. And, you know, that's just how it goes for a lot of the resale right now. But resale on these particularly, I do recommend going for smaller sizes, the better. But remember, the smaller size you go for, the less like you're going to go for it because they're worth the more. More resellers bought for those entries and raffles. So bigger the size is a safer bet. But once again, not as much profit. And one thing I want to say, Foot Patrol, by the way, already did announce the winners and a few people did get it in the group. So I got to say, that felt good to see some people take W's on these already. Uh, and other than that, though, that's pretty much just it for the How to Cop Sakai's. You basically don't have much enough opportunity besides, I'm going to take you guys off the screen. You don't have much of an opportunity besides, listen, raffles, Nike sneakers, and Sakai's website when hopefully they do announce something. They should officially announce it. They typically do. It shouldn't be a shock drop, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. But once again, if you're looking in New York City, and I do want to say I'm hoping it goes to LA because I feel like NYC gets a little bit too greedy with a lot of the stuff that you should expect the sneakers pass on Monday between 1 to 4 p.m. Eastern. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, one, you went to 4 p.m. Eastern. I forgot LA on three different, three hour different time zone. So, anyways, good luck to you guys on this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with hopefully two uploads. Actually, we're gonna have two uploads tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Make sure to turn the giveaway. Peace.